So yeah, had a lot of snow here in Colorado for the last four days. Finally, the sun comes out, but it's been snowing for four days straight up in the, the ski area where I work at. We had like they're reporting 45 inches in the last four days, and then finally we got a little break here. The, the weather pattern is really set up and to bring us more snow. It's going to keep coming in. You know, I'm sitting there for four days getting dumped on. I'm thinking, yep, this ain't natural. This is, this is a manipulation, man. It's after the floods we had last summer, the ground is still hasn't drained out. And now we got all this snow on top of it. It's going to melt. And I mean, it looks like we already got water coming out of the ground in places. It's, it's almost the middle of February. We got we got water coming out all over the place, just puddling up, just coming out of the ground. Never seen nothing like it. I lived in Colorado a long time. Never seen nothing like this, man. This is just not natural. I don't care what anybody says, man. They're, they're up these skiers up there, just like loving it, you know. Snowboarders and skiers are just going nuts. But I don't know if it's all a good thing, man. It's a lot of fun, man. I mean, I work up there. I'm going to lift. I work hard up there. And, and uh, when it's just like, I mean, it was like, I've been running a ski lift for like eight seasons. And like, this is, this is definitely the snowiest it's ever been this time of year. Oh my God, a dinosaur. Ah! It's a snow dinosaur. You have all the time, like eight, eight seasons up there. This is the toughest, but it's also been the most fun. But, man, it's been a lot of fun this last week with 45 inches of snow. I must have shoveled at least 16 tons of snow. I don't, I don't know. But, I moved a lot of tons of snow this week. Man, it's finally my day off. And it's not snowing. But I'm gonna go up there and do some snowboarding today. And maybe make a video with my friends in the park. But uh, yeah, I was watching the news this morning. It's all about Sochi over there. It's, uh, they're all, uh, the Winter Olympics is, uh, they're, they're they're having the <laughs> opposite of what we're having. They're having warm weather. And it's fucking up everything, I guess. You know, the half pipe sucks. All the riders are saying, you know, it is what it is, man. You got You got to deal with the conditions. If you know, if you're a professional, you got to deal with it. <laughs> the snow is so deep. Bingo! <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> yeah. It's fun, man, but who knows how much this shit's coming right out of Japan. You know, there's all those people out there that are saying shit could be radioactive. I know, that, I know there is elevated levels of radiation in the snow. You know, more than normal. But, uh, I don't know, watch this guy, Dudson's, and he's saying it's it's not real super, from what he, from the results he's getting, it's, I mean, it, there's definitely more radiation than background, but it's not like really, really off the charts, so, so yeah, a lot of interesting stuff going on, so I think I'm going to go up today. Do some snowboarding, have some fun in the sun. There they are. I knew these clouds looked a little funny this morning. Juicing it up for the next storm. Supposed to be arriving this evening.
expecting another 20 inches of snow by tomorrow up at the ski up in the divide it's just unreal man well they go all over the world and fuck up everything and they just cause misery and it's you know the, the, the hegelian dialectic that's what this weather control is all about too man They're just trying to fuck up everything you know our roads fucking shot our road is just shit man i already wore out a pair of shocks because of the fucking road so bumpy and from the the rain we had and it froze and had all this traffic driving on it just fucked it up and so that's what it's all about man fucking up the whole infrastructure so that you know people will be forced out of the rural areas and into the cities and the, the, those areas where they're destroyed by the weather never be rebuilt you know to create storms like sandy hurricane katrina these big these fucking snowstorms that are going on you know the, the evidence is there i just showed you of the plane spray in the sky you know that to me is proof of what they're doing and it's they've been doing it all winter they've been doing it for that. Shit says I think they I think it really ratcheted up from what I understand like in 1998 and then that's when they came out with the new term climate change because they knew that it wasn't going to get global warming was a farce right now well for the last 15 years the planet's been getting cooler <laughs> so yeah global warming is bullshit it's the earth regulates its own temperature, man. When it gets too hot, the air circulates around and cools it off. It's, it's constantly it's constantly moderating itself. So, you know, volcanoes put out way more than, than humans could. It's been going on for the whole history of the planet. So, yeah, climate change things. You know, they, they created all that because they knew they were gonna be controlling the weather. And as and all, all these this freak weather phenomenon that's going on, they could blame it all on the humans for fucking up their own environment. Their own, but really, they're the ones that are doing it. That's just how they roll. Look at this road. This is what I'm talking about. Look, there's one there. This is what, 25 feet, maybe? 25 feet. It's buckled again. Another 25 feet. Another buckle. This road is fucked up. This is like this all for miles. This is what I'm talking about, man. Weather manipulation, weather control. It's the result. 